Okay, what I have here is a test setup for one of these pop pop boat engines. And I've got a little alcohol burner on the light in a second here. And this is just a um, Q tip container that I turned into like a boat. But I'm going to run this just out of the water in a little uh, tank of water here and show the motion here. And the reason I'm doing this is my thought, and I wonder if Blade and some of the other guys will agree, you could turn this type of uh, mechanism into a motor uh, in, in rotational uh, engine, like a Stirling engine, if you could hook a bell crank of some sort onto this. And I'll give a link to Blade Attila, who has done that using the diaphragm motion going into a like a whale tail at the back here to make the boat move better and he's taken advantage of the movement here as well as the thrust from these um, water jets basically to move the boat faster and i'll give a link to his video but let's turn this on i'll show you what's going on here it takes a minute for it to heat up i'm using a denatured alcohol and it's just a little uh, aluminum cup with uh, thick aluminum foil on the top and then a piece of uh, high quality paper towel for the wick. And this will take a second to heat up, but there's a little bit of water in here. It's not full. It's only got some water in here. And you're going to see the water move in and out of these straws. Now, depending on how much water is in this, sometimes the water column moves this way. But on this one here, the way I have it set up, you're going to see it go up and down. And you're start going to hear it pop. But this is a very interesting um, heat engine that uses the uh, expansion and contraction of uh, the water vapor, which is like steam. You see, there's no bubbles coming out. There's no steam coming out of this at all. What's happening is the water's coming up here, going from liquid to a vapor state, and then going back into um, liquid. It goes liquid, vapor, liquid, vapor. And like I say, Blade Attila has figured out a way to take the motion here and utilize the motion to um, actuate a bell crank to make this little flapper go on the back of the boat, which helps move the boat. Let's see if I can get it to go a little faster here. You can vary the speed by adding more heat to the uh, aluminum uh, envelope. It's, it's, it's a boiler, but it's not really uh, producing steam that comes out the back. This is not like an, a steam engine type of thing. This is a different kind of s a system here that's working. There it goes. That's how it's supposed to work right there. Anyway, this is a really fascinating subject, and I thank Granddad for turning me on to it with all of his pop pop boat videos. He did a lot of them. He uh, gave excellent links to other people that have built these things. And this is a real good uh, subject to study. Thanks for watching.